Disney's box office flop, Strange World, has caused quite the controversy. It is the latest flick amongst a string of LGBTQ-themed content geared towards children. The film features a teenage boy, Ethan, who finds himself in a loving homosexual relationship, a romance that is celebrated by his woke family and friends. Yes, a homosexual teen romance story in a children's film. And yes, I said children's film. I guess it's only fitting that they titled it A Strange World. Of course, this is not the first pro-LGBTQ children's film that Disney has produced. Earlier this year, we saw Lightyear, another children's film that featured a lesbian couple with, get this, an on-screen kiss. It's shocking that this is all pitched as children's content, yet given Disney's open agenda that has been explicitly made clear, we can only expect to see more. Um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads. But don't get me wrong, I'm not here to tell Disney to stop making LGBT content at all. Surely a loss of $100 million in theatres is enough of an indication that parents are clearly in no rush to feed their children with same-sex romance dramas. If Disney wants to continue producing such content, that's completely up to them. My message, however, is towards parents, conscious Muslims, or even the young people watching this who are concerned about themselves and our future generations. We can no longer afford to take a back seat or idle approach when it comes to what our children are exposed to and what we consume. Disney is definitely not what it used to be, and we really need to be mindful of this. We need to be well aware of the current state of films, TV programs, and even textbooks that we allow into our homes and even into our children's schools. It is no secret that we are already seeing drag parades for preschoolers, school counsellors encouraging sex changes, and even teachers lecturing school children about homosexual sex. It very well is a strange world. And it's no wonder we are seeing a dramatic rise in the amount of people identifying as LGBT. For too long, parents have been terrified to speak out. We parents must maintain our right to have autonomy over our children, their values and their upbringing. Recently, we saw Muslim parents take a strong vocal stance in a Dearborn school in Michigan, whereby pro-LGBT teachers were accused of exposing children to textbooks that are likened to animated pornography. Criticism of age and appropriate content is not criticism of the LGBT community. It's completely ridiculous that we police those that groom children on the street, yet we are oblivious to those that do it on our screens and in our schools. Picture this. What if some random middle-aged man approaches your child in the playground and decides to chat with them about being pansexual? You would probably call the police. Why is there a difference when teachers groom our children with creepy content that is too perverted for adults to consume, let alone children in primary school? And as mentioned, this is a message not just to parents, but students themselves. Don't be afraid to take a stance. Recently, we witnessed UK's Wood Green Academy invite a gay man who identified as a Muslim to preach to the school's students. He ignorantly preached that the Quran had been misinterpreted and there was no issue with homosexuality in Islam. However, when courageous Muslim students pushed back against these false claims, they were met with their teachers screaming at them to shut up and somehow likening their views with the 9-11 terror attacks. Shut up and listen! The Muslims smashed airplanes into buildings to kill thousands of people. Students should deserve the right to maintain their values and not be bullied into giving up who they are. Because if we don't speak up, it's just going to get worse. Balenciaga recently released an ad campaign with a child holding a sexualized bear and even images of pro-child pornography documents and a leash on a bed. An actual leash. But by all means, let's focus on Qatar's anti-one love stance. Let's force our enlightened values onto another nation because, hey, we got it right. And they need to rid themselves of their homophobic ways. But in all honesty, this isn't and never has been about homophobia. This isn't about hating another group of people. It's about reserving our right to uphold our own beliefs and values, including those of our children. We cannot sit by idly while someone else tries to change who we are and what our children believe in. We have the right to believe what we believe and not be bullied in the process, just as those that espouse the LGBTQ agenda preach tolerance, 
love and demand that people respect their way of life, we ask that they do the same and respect us for who we are.